5 a.m. Juno is right there in that little bucket. There's Kiki, say good morning. I'm just not ready to leave yet. On this trip, I have a couple transports that I have to do first with the puppy and two kitties. Uh, one's a Maine Coon and one is a Bingo. <laughs> Joy to the world. I have to go to Paris to pick up a cat and then I have to go to Germany to pick up a cat. These are my bags. This is just my road bag with all my gym stuff in it and clothes for while I'm here in the US. And then I got my backpack packed for Paris and Germany. I wanna kinda of keep it light because I don't want any checked in bags. If you're going international and you can avoid checking bags, do that. I've had so many bags lost. I didn't you know. I don't have no chit-chin. Already had your breakfast. Two. You you already had breakfast. Don't be such a butt. Alright, let's say it all together. Because I have definitely made it a routine. We are running late. So yeah. And I still gotta go vacuum the car because as I was getting it in, I was trying to move the litter that I have back there and I dumped it. I got all litter that I gotta go back it up. I think this vacuum sucks, but we're gonna try. Exciting, so I know I'm running late, but I went to my P.O. box and I got a parcel, so let's open it. Oh my gosh, look it. There's so much cute stuff in here. Eye cream, SPF, blemish serum. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And texture smoothing cream. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I definitely have to do a review on all this stuff. I feel so lucky. Up two bingo kitties, which everyone knows they're my favorite. Actually, they're being really well behaved. I waited about an hour before I started filming so that they could calm down a little bit because I didn't want them screaming throughout the whole video. I'm gonna show them to you guys here in just a little bit. Good lord, they are beautiful. So I picked them up in West Virginia. One is going to Massachusetts, and sorry if I can't say it right like <laughs> and then the other one is going to Maine so we got a long little drive ahead of us oh god I need a stabilizer I am so sorry about that girl in Massachusetts has a doctor's appointment asked me if it was possible for me to drop off after her doctor's appointment which I told her was completely fine so um, I will be there at about like 9 a.m. so it gives me a little sleepy deepy time and then we'll to and then after Maine, I have to go to Ohio, then I have to go to Wisconsin, then I have to go to Michigan, then West Virginia again, and then back to New York. My schedule wasn't originally like this, but when people do lots of cancellations, this is what my schedule looks like on a day-to-day -day basis. I only used to do international transports, but since COVID, I haven't done any international transports. This is my first and gonna be my last because I am scared to go there. Like, I pull out my my freaking passport and people are gonna scatter. I know it, I'm nervous. Everything's changing. I'm scared I'm gonna get there and they're gonna be like, <coughs> borders closed <coughs> and I'm gonna get stuck over for a minute not because of the babies but I am gonna check up on them and I'm gonna give them food and water amazingly these bangles are being so fantastic I take back all my stories about how horrible it is to transport them because they haven't made a peep at all but it's so foggy I can't see anything the construction that's going on and on top of it there is like an infestation of deer they are literally everywhere and they have all chosen death so i am done playing jumanji my jeans are chafing i've gained weight so i clearly don't fit these jeans anymore they're ripping apart my inner thighs and butt and i am just done 
and I normally don't stop at places like this. So I'm gonna lock the door and I would get out because it seems like that would be the easiest thing to do, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't feel safe and So I stay in my vehicle and then I just climb over here and I take the bunny. Look how stinking beautiful this baby is. Wait to get my little gravity case because I'm literally trying to prop my camera any which way possible. Now I'm gonna grab the other baby without trying to drop my phone at the same time. But this one is a little bit more spunky, so let's patience. It's a bird shoe. Okay. Alright, it's okay. Oh, but this baby's beautiful too. Hi. You're gonna give me a hard time putting you back in, huh, moms? So this is another bingle. This is the other one that I have. She's kind of staring at the other bingle. They grew up together, so I don't know why she's looking at her like, I'm gonna rip your face off. Hi, baby. Hi, moms. Look at these spots on her isn't she gorgeous well they call them rosettes they call these rosettes only ended up driving like an hour because it started raining like really really bad i pulled over and i got some really good sleep actually six hours of sleep so babies are doing good i am going to get gas and then change my clothes yeah i think that's about it who got sleep i did who got sleep i did because the bingles are being so good. Because the bingles being so good. That never happens only because I'm doing a video and all the animals I transport like to make me seem like a liar. And have full out conversations by song. Make no sense. Kind of nervous. So through New York with all these COVID changes and the Delta variant, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me so we can see how bad the shenanigans really is. If it's true that you have to like show your COVID vaccine to go into a gas station. No, it's a mosquito. Oh, I don't know, no. So this baby, I am five minutes from her home, so I wanna make sure, I already dropped the other one off. It is it's late outside. Then I gotta go to Ohio. I got a long drive over there. I'm just gonna put a pee pee pad down. Bottom of this, I lay her in in this little cute little backpack carrier. See, I am so beautiful. Good girl. So tired. So I've only had like seven hours of sleep since I left my house. And so I've gone from Alabama to West Virginia to New York to uh, Massachusetts to Maine. Now I'm making my way back down to Ohio. And the reason why I can't sleep is because the customer is upset. She wants same day delivery. She said, well, you said that you'll deliver in 24 hours. I said, yeah, but my pickup time is 6 p.m. You're nine hours away. It's physically impossible to deliver the same day. It will be within the 24 hours that I promised. Now, because Princess wants to throw a fit, now I don't get to sleep. A lot of people don't realize there isn't nobody else in this car. I do all this driving by myself. How many hours of driving that is? I just wish people appreciated what I did. They really don't, guys. You guys have no idea. A lot of people don't appreciate what I do at all. I get treated like I get treated just so bad sometimes. I'm crying but probably because I'm tired. I get used to it. I cry a lot. People are like, oh, you know, crying and you're upset and you're unhappy, then why do you do it? It's because I honestly as soon as i get the animals then forgot about why the hell i was crying oh my gosh guys i totally forgot record when it was daylight outside when i picked up this puppy i know i suck he's a really regular customer of mine his name is augie so i transport all his puppies oh cute look at it 
I want him to put his ears up because it is the cutest thing on earth. Ears up. Say no, lady. I was sl watch. I was sleeping. I was sleeping. You're cute. So I put him on the passenger seat so I can give him some water. No. I fed the puppy this morning. He went potty. I thought he was completely done. No. In the front seat with me. Some pee pee pads down just in case he had an accident. Well, he started ripping up the pee pee pad and he everywhere. I'm currently in downtown Chicago, so I'm, I'm having like a really hard time finding somewhere to pull over so I can clean this all up. I was able to like get him in there. He pooped in there too. <laughs> because I didn't want him. I was like, oh no, because puppies, you know puppies, they will just step all in their poop and track it everywhere. So I was like, ah, put him in a carrier. And I just reached back there and I put him in there and poor little guy, he doesn't have no blanket, he don't have no nothing. And we gotta clean up everything. Fresh towel down for him. Clean up all this shenanigans. All this poop in here. Come here, little fat belly. Little fat belly, you got poop on you. Well, yeah. So let's clean you off. This cutest little thing ever. I want you guys to see him with his little ears up in the air. Yeah. You look like poop on your feet. You look poop on your feet. He's like, please rub my face. I just use the scent free wipes for sensitive skin. That's what I use on them. He's like, please love on me. So I put a new towel down. Watch. It's like his favorite. <laughs> oh, you get it. Oh, yeah. Okay. You go right there. What you have created. Nastiness. I cannot drive with poopons. That is way too many wipes but whatever way too many way too many he is clearly entertained right now with the tag and this is what happens because now i'm gonna have to call and tell his mom i'm gonna be late and these are the reasons why i'm late i dropped the puppy off and oh my gosh see people like that is what makes it so worth it because she was so excited couldn't find house for nothing in the world and I was like going around knocking on people's doors because it was like you have arrived and I was in the middle of nowhere doesn't get service so I couldn't like call her but anyway she got her puppy and she was super happy about that I went and got some glue because I lost some nails <laughs> lost two so I, gotta okay, do so I pulled over and I changed I know this looks like the same shirt but it's really not so pretty I can't wait for you guys to see it I picked up this Maine Coon baby late last night. I made her like a little bed right here so she could lie down with me. Per monster. just woke up and as you can tell this little baby is a per monster hey, I am finally at my last drop-off before heading I say hello so I want you guys to stay tuned because my next video is going to be my trip to Paris and Germany to pick up two kitties I want you guys to come along with me on my transport it's going to be interesting we're gonna see what's going on in the world with COVID the whole process of going so don't forget to like and subscribe
subscribe and then turn on the little bell so that you can get a notification when I post. See? Oh, oh.